I just remember a friend telling me once, you know, <clears throat> if you want to be a doctor, you hang out with doctors. If you want to be a musician, go hang out with musicians. And so to go to a town where it's happening and you're surrounded by other musicians and peers and people that are involved in what you're doing and that's their passion, it helps motivate you. It helps you learn from each other. You know, if I don't know what's what to do about a certain thing. I, there's a handful of people I can ask like, Hey, how'd you do that? That's really cool. And it's a really great community. I listen to so much different kinds of music. I grew up really on a lot of rock and roll, but I also like a lot of folk music. Jim Croce is one of my favorites. Um, I also love the Beatles. I mean, I grew up listening to Janis Joplin and Joan Baez and, uh, even like Patsy Cline. And I guess I've listened to so much different kinds of music my whole life. It's not a thought that I ever really, <laughs> it's nothing different than me. I consider my music to be more folk, folk rock based. Um, there's a lot of country influence in there too. So blues and country folk rock, which is really classified as Americana. I mean, I, I still do think that it's country based, but I also see all different kinds of music come through. I work at a music venue here and we have all different kinds of shows, rock and hip hop and metal, which I love metal. I love those shows. <laughs>
Was she not the woman he envisioned in your dream? My parents are both from Southern California originally. Um, I was, uh, my father was in the garment business doing clothing and trading and selling and manufacturing. And then uh, when I was, I think in kindergarten, we moved to Hong Kong. And I was there until I was eight years old. I have two older sisters. And then we all, we all moved to Connecticut. And then right before high school, my family moved to Las Vegas. And I was there for a while. Then I moved out to Los Angeles when I was 21. And I lived there for about seven years. I was uh, writing songs. And um, I was waiting tables, you know, to pay my bills. And someone really found me on YouTube and offered me a job singing on a cruise ship. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Why not? It was supposed to be for seven months. So I was like, yeah, I'll go try it, go travel and see what's going on out there. And uh, I ended up doing it for three years. It was just a really good paying job. It was really nice. I got to sing every night. I got to do a show where I would sing my own songs as well as some covers. Like I would do a lot of um, folk, uh, 70s folk and country music. And then when I was done with that, uh, I moved to Nashville. I just felt like this is where I was supposed to be for my music. And I came out here and wanted to make a record and I needed to find out how to go about doing all that. A few of the songs I played were newer songs and a lot of them were songs that I've recorded on my um, record that I put out a little over a year ago now, my first record. The first one, It's a Long Way Back. Really, I was living uh, in Las Vegas with my sister after the cruise ship and trying to figure out what I was going to do or where I was going to go and writing songs and feeling down about myself and life and having a pity party, and I was like, oh, I can't even write songs. Maybe I should write something stupid like this. <laughs> and that's how the song started. And my sister was like, well, that sounds pretty good. You should keep writing. And so uh, I just <laughs> kind of kept writing the song, or just about really, you know, a play on Las Vegas, but my journey in my life um, from where I was to who I am now, you know? So that's what that one is about.
I mean, I don't find it to be uh, easy. I'm not someone that writes uh, a song every day. You know, I really kind of wait to be inspired or to have um, an emotion to write about, you know. But one, uh, some are faster than others. Sometimes I sit down and a song's there in an hour, and sometimes it takes weeks or I'll start a song and it'll the beginning of it will be there for a couple weeks or even a couple months, and then all of a sudden I'll finish it. Later, it all depends on the song. Usually a lyric with a melody will come into my head and then uh, I'll follow that and see what that is and then pick up the guitar. I expect and I hope to just continue writing songs and sharing my music and performing for people. Little Spot of Sun, I wrote that song for my roommate's dog. The dog used to love sitting in the sun and I remember seeing her there one day, and I said, oh, there you are in your little spot of sun. And I thought, oh, that's a great song. I should write that song for you. And so, uh, yeah, I wrote that song. I, I do a lot of writing uh, with my sister as well. So I got together with her, and we, we wrote that one together. Shining through my window is a smile on my face Leaves are dancing circles with the wind A songbird she is singing the day has just begun It's time to go out searching for my little spot of sun I know that I will find her it hasn't failed me yet Always meets me halfway down the path Like old friends telling one by one She always saves a place for me My little spot of sun Used to be a beggar So without a home Now all my hard-pressed sorrows Lay to rest Misfortune will not find me For he has been outdone and I will sit content here In my little spot of sun Never Give Up. That again was just a song about abandonment, the fear of abandonment. And I just sat down. That song I wrote really fast in less than an hour. I just was living with a couple roommates. I'd first moved to Nashville and everybody was really noisy. And I remember putting in earplugs and just writing the song with earplugs in. <laughs> and it just came out. And there that one was. And just, I have a lot of fear. I guess around ab abandonment. So that was an easy thing for me to write about and those feelings. 
I just see myself doing the same thing, recording more records and going on tour and playing music for people. I think it's a way to relate to one another 
and to do a lot of self-searching as well. You know what I mean? That's what I've always used music for, to relate to somebody else, to be like, I felt like that too. I know what that feels like, or yeah, I'm going through that, or it's healing. Oh. 